I hate to say it, but I told you so. Actually, no, I don't hate to say it because I've been saying it for years. Gun control is about giving up an inch 63,360 times until there's nothing else to give up. As a matter of fact, I devoted an entire episode of my show Noir to it last season, where I time traveled to the not so distant future where anti-gunners got everything they wanted and even airsoft guns were regulated. See, this is how anti-gunners will come for our guns. They're playing chess by slowly and methodically making this place gun-free, limiting this magazine, banning this ammo, extending background checks just a bit. Yet, in typical anti-gun fashion, people dismissed my argument and said I was being absurd. Well, it's 2016, and the Scottish government is now requiring its subjects to register their air guns in the next six months or face up to two years in prison. We're talking about an air gun. Not a real gun, but an air gun, which if you ask me, is a glorified BB gun. But let the anti-gunners tell it, I'm a fear monger, because I say universal background checks, which only work if there's a national gun registration, will inevitably result in a gun ban. I didn't pull that out of my ass, it's exactly what they did in the UK. In 1967, the British government required a registration for all shotguns. In 1988, they banned all semi-automatic rifles as well as pump-action rifles. In 1997, they required a gun registration for all handguns, and then subsequently banned the handguns. After they banned the handguns, they then made it illegal to carry a knife with a blade longer than three inches. Now Scotland is requiring a registration for air rifles. Where do you think they're gonna go next? You think they're gonna say, oops, we made a mistake, you can have your guns back? This isn't about safety, it's about control. President Obama got up on national television and said that it's a conspiracy theory to think that anyone is trying to ban guns. Are you suggesting that we are creating a plot to take everybody's guns away so that we can impose martial but, law? But there's certainly a is lot of a people. conspiracy? Yes, there's... that is a conspiracy. Yet this is the same president, along with Hillary Clinton and every other anti-gun politician, who praises the gun control laws in places like the UK and Australia where they've banned guns. That's like telling a Jew you're not an anti-Semite, you just love Hitler. I'm not trying to ban guns, I just like the gun laws in that country where they ban guns. Come on, people. We've gotta stop being so naive. Of course they're not gonna come right out and say, we're here to ban the guns. They tried that. It was called the 2013 assault weapons ban. The word ban is in the damn name. And no, this wasn't just for fully automatic machine guns. It was for all semi-automatic rifles. They just called it assault weapon ban because it sounded scarier. This is the same assault weapons ban that the president and Hillary Clinton are on record saying that they're in favor of. And this is the same assault weapons ban drafted by Dianne Feinstein who states her true intentions clear as day. And President Obama, Hillary, and the gun control funky bunch try to actually get it passed. But when they realized no one was buying into it, they did with the law what record labels do with boy bands. They repackage it, give it a different name, and say it's different. It's not different. They're trying to do the same thing here that they did in the UK. The only problem is we have this thing called the Second Amendment. So they can't just take them. They have to figure out ways to get you to give them up. And as long as we keep thinking the push for gun control is some moral pursuit with no ulterior motive, one day you're gonna look up and find yourself standing in line to register a damn airsoft gun.